Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge? And in the land of could've, would've, and should've? It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre, be normal, and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are about your dreams, just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do, and once you have neutralized your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're gonna talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there, though the storms keep raging? and the people get to talking and the walls are closing in on you and you stand there and say, I've come too far to turn around. Do you have the courage? The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to create the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you. Get back up and live life. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way and you stop at nothing to reach it. So I don't care how long it takes. I don't care the sacrifice. You've put in too many hours. You've made too many phone calls. You've put in too much money. You've invested too much time. You should have quit last year. You should have quit two years ago. You've come too far to give up. The only thing you can do right now is go all in. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. I choose to fight back. You have to draw the line and say enough is enough. Get out of that narrow-mindedness. Get out of that defeated mentality. Get away from that circle. Get away from those people that don't wish you any good. Get away from those people that don't want you to succeed. Get away from them. You can't count the cost. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you gotta go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. So don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count how long you study. You don't count how far you have left. You don't count it. You get to a point where you just do whatever the hell it takes to get whatever you want. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through when things get hard. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day you have to train yourself to focus, to commit, to push forward and follow through. Yes, you're tired. Yes, your mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But you cannot quit because you realize you have not reached the goal yet. You have come too far to quit in the process. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for your pain. There's nothing as powerful as the human spirit. You can pervert it, but you can't destroy it. If you lose the job, keep the faith. If you lose the spouse, keep the faith. If you have to downsize, keep the faith. If you're at your wit's end, keep the faith. When you tell yourself you're gonna do whatever the hell it takes to make it through this, you will make it happen no matter what. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Life will knock you between the eyes. It will catch you on the blind side, come out of nowhere, stuff you can't anticipate. It'll knock the wind out of you. You want to give up. You will not be challenged in your convenience. You will be challenged in your chaos.
When you run out of money, when things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? If you know the why for living, 